What's good YouTube, it's Adam from Alba Music Mogul and welcome to another video. In this one, I'm gonna show you how to save your drum machine designer kits. So let's get straight to it. First things first, I'm gonna show you how to actually drag in samples into drum machine designer. First one being my personal favorite, just select all your samples, drag into this gray area and go to drum machine designer. That will auto load all those samples that you selected into a drum machine designer kit. All right, or you can go ahead and drag in samples one by one, just like that. Or you can drag in samples, multiple samples at the same time. Just open up Drum Machine Designer once again. Wish that stayed up when we sort through our sounds on the side here. And here is a glitch right here in 10.5. Not sure if some of you are getting this as well, but if you do get this, you did not lose your kit. Just close that up open up the drum machine designer again and there it is i'm sure that's going to be fixed in a 0.1 update anyways we're going to go ahead and drag in multiple samples at once as well just like that but let's say we use this drum kit we made a crazy good beat and now we want to save it for our future productions and sessions my personal preference would have been for apple to put like a save or load button here and we could have loaded up the kits easily or save them easily there but what you gotta do here is you gotta save it up as a patch and to do that, hit the library button over here. And what you gotta do to make sure before you go ahead and save, because if you hit save right now, you're gonna save it as a kit piece and you don't wanna do that. Select your drum machine designer like that. This will load up here, that initial window on all your kits. Go to save. Now you'll be loaded up into an instrument patch and you can go ahead and call this what you want. Go drum kit one for lack of a better name click save and now you save that up as a user patch so i can go ahead and delete this track and just go to my user patches go to drum kit one and there is my kit right there if you add more samples into this kit let's go ahead and just do that quickly and then you want to re-save up this kit what you got to do here once again is hit this drum machine designer blue selector right over there and go to save and it's going to ask you what do you want to call it call it the exact same thing drum kit patch one and you can go ahead and replace that and that just re or overrides that preset and now let's go ahead and load that back in you'll see that it's all the newly saved right here with those new samples now you can actually go ahead and take this a step further and create folders within your instrument patches. So we can actually create a folder here, call that drum kits and save this within that. So that when you open up your user patches, you can browse through your drum kits, your instruments, your sounds, and maybe that's a little bit easier that way, depending on how you want to organize your stuff. But that is how you save up drum machine designer kits. If you do have any questions on this, we can go ahead and take this conversation down in the comment section below. If you do have any other quirks or questions about 10.5, let's talk about it down below. I will be putting out small little videos like this one showing you how to do uh, tasks like this. At first it may seem confusing, but then you're gonna get the hang of it and it's gonna make sense. That's it for me guys. If you did like this video, remember to thumbs up and share this video. And of course, hit that subscribe button for more great videos like this one. I'll talk to y'all soon. Later.